Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. Mars and the Gemini twins line up in a row. Venus and Saturn pair up super close. And an exquisite moon watches it all. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Mark, three dates next week when you can see three wonderful cosmic occurrences. On Monday, October 12th, Mars will line up with the brightest stars of Gemini. On Tuesday the 13th, Venus and Saturn will make a super close pair. And on Friday the 16th, a slender sliver of a moon will make a triangle with Venus and Saturn. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies there for next Monday, October 12th, one hour before sunrise, facing east, where you will see a 23-day-old waning crescent moon. And just above it, three bright objects lined up in a row. The one closest to the moon is our old friend and half the size of our Earth, 4,000-mile-wide Rouge Gold Mars which we have been visiting with rovers for the past two years, sending back incredible pictures for the whole world to see. Something I never expected to see when I was a kid. And just up to the left of Mars are the two brightest stars of Gemini, the twins, Castor and Pollux, which you will be able to see in early evening skies all winter long. So use the moon to find both Mars and the Gemini twins. Next, look directly below them, and you will see the brightest planet of them all, same size as our Earth, 8,000 mile wide Venus. And just below it, 75,000 mile wide ring Saturn. They'll be very close, only two full moon widths apart. But 24 hours later, on Tuesday, October 13th, they'll be at their closest, only one full moon apart. Wow, don't miss this. And please, if you have a small telescope or binoculars, use them. Now, you'll also notice that Mars, Castor, and Pollux are still in a straight line, but that the moon has moved a considerable distance and gotten skinnier. It is on its way to pay a visit to Saturn and Venus, but regrettably it will not get to them before they are out of their huddle and well apart from each other. In fact, on Wednesday, you'll clearly see that Saturn has changed places with Venus and is now above it rather than below it. And that once again, two full moons could fit between them. On Thursday, they'll be even farther apart and an even skinnier moon will be closing in on them. And then on Friday the 16th, Venus and Saturn will be so far apart that seven full moons could fit between them but they'll form an exquisite triangle with one of the skinniest moons you'll ever see. Wow, again. Of course, all this visual closeness of cosmic objects is merely an illusion. In fact, next week, our moon will be only 230,000 miles away, Venus will be 140 million miles away, and Saturn 960 million miles away. The disparity between Mars and the Gemini twins, however, will be even greater. Indeed, Mars will be only 125 million miles away next week, whereas Pollux will be 34 light years away, and Castor a whopping 52 light years beyond. So don't forget on Monday, Mars, Castor, and Pollux line up in a row. On Tuesday, Saturn and Venus are only one full moon apart, and on Friday, they make an exquisite triangle with a super skinny moon. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.